ok assalamualaikum and hi guys so um, we have done with chapter 3 Laplace transform and now we are moving into chapter 4 which is Fourier series so in chapter 3 you have learned the Laplace transform whereby Laplace transform is one of the transformation method and it is used it can be used to solve the or it can be used to find the solution of differential equation right so what is a Fourier series now so Fourier series is defined as an expansion of a function expansion of a function in a series of sine and cosine function Okay, in a series of in a series of sine and cosine function. Okay, so Fourier series is an expansion of a function in a series of sine and cosine function. It is actually the same as Laplace transform. It is it is the transformation method. Okay, but here. Uh, you will learn the Fourier series so what will you learn throughout this chapter so you have um, in subtopic 4.1 you have periodic function subtopic 4.2 you have even and odd function okay then you have Fourier series for periodic function and Fourier series for half fringe expansion so what is periodic function Okay, so a function f t is periodic with period of t if f t plus capital letter of t is equals to f t, whereby t is not equals to zero. Okay, example one show that f x equals to cos two x two pi x is a periodic function and find its period. So since fx is cos 2 pi x, then fx plus t is equals to cos 2 pi x plus t, right? So we just replace x plus t into this x. Okay? What is the value of t such that cos 2 pi x plus t equals to cos 2 pi t? So we want to know what is the value of t now. Okay. So, you have cos 2 pi x plus t equals to, okay, this one, you use um, the identity in trigonometric function, okay? So, you have, okay, the identity for cos, you have cos uh, x plus minus y equals to, cos x cos y this is plus minus so here should be minus plus minus plus sin x sin y so we will use this identity um, to solve for this question okay so cos 2 pi x plus t equals to cos 2 pi x cos 2 pi t minus sine 2 pi x sine 2 pi t okay so it is equals to okay um sine 2 pi okay sine 2 pi is equals to 0 right so this is equals to 0 okay So, cos 2 pi x plus t, this is equals to cos 2 pi, we want to prove that uh, fx is equals to fx plus t, right? So, 2 pi x, this function is equals to this function if, okay, if cos 2 pi t equals to 1, 
this equals to 1 and this equals to 0 right sine 2 pi t equals to 0 okay so this function is equals to this function if cos 2 pi t equals to 1 and this whole function equals to 0 then only you can get the same function okay so t in this case this is true for t equals to 1 2 3 and so on okay so the smallest value of 40 is one known as fundamental period therefore fx equals to 2 pi x is a periodic function with period of 1 okay okay now example 2 determine whether fx equals to sine 5x is a periodic function how to determine whether this function is a periodic function fx equals to fx plus t okay if yes find the period period means the t you want to find the t okay so your fx is sine 5x so your fx plus t equals to sine 5x plus t okay here we will again use the identity in triangle function okay for sine if you have sine x plus y then it is equals to sine x cos y okay uh, sine x plus minus y then it will be plus minus as well plus minus cos x sine y okay so here you have is equals to sine 5x cos 5t plus cos 5x sine 5t okay so um, fx is equals to fx plus t if sine 5x okay this equals to sine 5x if this one is equals to 1 right and this one equals to 0 okay if cos 5t equals to 1 and sine 5t equals to 0 okay so now what is the value of t find the period means that you you need to find the value of t so cos t is equals to 1 cos 2 pi also is equals to 1 right so cos 5t equals to cos 2 pi equals to 1 okay so you can cancel here so 5t equals to 2 pi so t is equals to 2 pi over 5 so therefore fx equals to sine 5x is a periodic function with the period of 2 pi over 5 so the t is 2 pi over 5 right so i think that's that's all for uh, this subtopics 4.1 periodic function and i'll see you guys in the next video right okay bye